6 Healing Prayers for Anxiety and Depression If you or someone you care for is struggling with anxiety or depression, you're not alone. While you may feel like you're the only one in this deep, dark valley, God reminds us to give our anxieties to Him. He's right there, walking next to us no matter how scary your path is. When you're overwhelmed with anxious thoughts or simply can't spend another second in this darkness alone, use these healing prayers for anxiety and depression to find your strength again. Choose a prayer below or Pray on one of the guided prayer meditations and let's pray together for your healing. A prayer to redeem your pain. Lord, we long to have new selves. We long to put away our old selves that are full of doubt, fear and disillusionment. We long to put on the fruit of your spirit which is full of love, joy, and peace. We know we can't do this by sheer will power, but instead need the power of your Holy Spirit to guide, direct, and transform us. We long for that and pray for it confidently. In Jesus' name, Amen. A prayer for renewed strength. Lord Jesus, please renew my mind, that I may think the holy and good thoughts of a redeemed child. Please secure the helmet of salvation upon me so I am never without protection. I now put on the breastplate of righteousness. Holy Spirit, come and fill me now. Give me strength for the battle and endurance to seek your will graciously release your gifts of faith hope and love discernment and praise help me to pick up the sword of the spirit to cut down and clear away all that is not of you keep me rooted in your living word that is sharper than a two-edged sword against my enemy. In Jesus, the Messiah's name, I pray. Amen. A prayer for uncertainty. Heavenly Father, when I look at all the threats around me, all the uncertainties and things I can't control, I feel afraid and overwhelmed. Thank you for sending your Son Jesus to teach me how to walk by faith even when the waves are choppy and the winds are high. Help me to keep my gaze focused on him. It's in his name that I pray. Amen. A prayer for a renewed mind. Dear Heavenly Father, sometimes my thoughts spin out of control to anxiety or comparison or anger, instead of turning to you. I want you to rule in my heart and my mind. I want my thoughts to be led by your truth. As I pray today, renew my mind and break down any strongholds that try to control me. In the name of Jesus pray. Amen. A prayer to calm your mind. God, my mind is not always a peaceful place. I'm distracted and busy with so many things. Sometimes I act as if I can save myself if I just work hard enough and remember all the right things. Help me instead to trust in you for my salvation, and to replace my worries with your peace, and help me to bring your 
peace to others as I trust in you. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. A prayer for faith amidst fear. Mighty God, I'm bringing my body, my emotions, my will, and my mind before you now. You know the battles I'm fighting. You know the fears that I fall into so easily. Please give me strength to take the next steps of faith you're calling me to purify my mind. I'm asking this in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you're struggling with anxiety or depression, take time to pause what you're doing today and pray on any of the above meditations let us know in the comments how God is working in your life through these prayers. While we hope that these prayers help you find healing from anxiety and depression, we know that sometimes, our problems are too big for us to fight alone. And that's okay. Try faithful counseling. And get mental, emotional, and spiritual help. Imagine the heaven as beautiful as possible, as colorful, as beautiful, with the best music and the best love and the best smiles. Imagine that. And know that heaven is a billion times better than that. Amen? Alleluia? But the best thing about heaven is our Father. Our Father. And see, I see that this is where our enemy has attacked the church big time. He's attacked the whole world. He's gone to destroy fatherhood off the face of the earth. Amen? Because you see, every priest father and every married father, we are meant to be reflections or icons of the Heavenly Father. And what kind of men must we be to reflect the Heavenly Father? Amen? Now, be aware of this, that the enemy... He despises God the Father. I mean, I hate even to say these words. He hates the Father. And the funny thing is, God is his Father too. He hates his own Father, you see. This is the greatest tragedy in the universe, is the way that Lucifer, which means angel of light, how he rebelled against his own Father. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine your daddy being in front of you? even a perfect daddy, and for lack of a better word, you slap your father or you spit at your father. This is what he did. He actually said, it's in sacred scripture, behold, I will place my throne above his. And so beloved, we have an enemy in our midst. He hates God the Father and he hates every human father. He's out to destroy every sacred image of fatherhood on the face of the earth. Amen? And that's why he's out to destroy manhood. Forgive me for being politically incorrect. This is why we see the rise of homosexuality. It's part of the devil's fight against authentic manhood and fatherhood. Amen? And this is something we, we don't want to condemn anybody. I had a relative who was a practicing homosexual. He's been completely healed through the rosary. Completely healed. Amen? I just should mention that because God can heal anyone of anything. Amen? Especially through the rosary. Amen? And so, beloved, we need a restoration of fatherhood. And that's why sacred scripture says, in the last prophecy of the Old Testament, right? It says there in Malachi that... In the end, I will restore the hearts of the fathers to their sons and daughters. And I will restore the hearts of the children to their fathers. Does it say that? The last prophecy in the Old Testament can only be fulfilled by Jesus, Mary, and St. Joseph. 
Amen. And so in our time, beloved, our time in a special way, besides the time with the flame of love, I should mention Mary, when I say her number one helper, St. Joseph. His time is coming. And the saints prophesy that in the final days, St. Joseph would finally arise to his rightful place in the Holy Catholic Church. It's been happening, hasn't it? The last apparition of Fatima, who appeared with Mother Mary? St. Joseph. And the last approved apparition, Holy Joseph appeared with Mother Mary holding the Christ child. And what did he do? Anybody remember what he did in that apparition? He blessed the entire world. But listen, only two people can bless. Ordained, the ordained, and papas. Daddies can bless their own families. Amen? It's true. Even in the Book of Blessings from Rome, there's one blessing reserved for lay people who are not ordained. It's the blessing of fathers and mothers for their own children. St. Joseph, beloved, he wasn't a priest ordained, but he's the father of the human race. Amen? And he blessed the whole world. And then we saw a further development of this prophecy that St. Joseph would arise to his place in the final days. There's another interesting development you may not be aware of unless you were living through Vatican II. I was just a little boy, but you remember, you know the litany that we use, right? The divine praises at the end of adoration. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Mary, right? Virgin and mother. Then what's it say? Do you know that wasn't in there when I was a boy? It wasn't. That was brought only during Vatican II. Pope Saint, Pope John the 23rd added that to the litany. Did you know that? That's significant, isn't it? Because the church moves mighty slow, almost like a snail. And when she adds something, you better look out, it's explosive. Now, of course, he's in there, the divine praises. Blessed be St. Joseph, her what? Don't you love that line? I love it when it gets to that, it's like I'm going to float off the floor. It's so beautiful. We need men like St. Joseph because St. Joseph was like the father. Amen?